We stayed at Around the Bend Hostel. Um, I want to shout out Gordon and Lisa. You guys are awesome. You guys helped us out so much. And we appreciate the stay and we appreciate the hospitality and the good laughs and the music and just everybody there, all the hikers that were there, just so cool and chill. And it was just good times all around. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how chill is looking today. We're headed to Muskrat Creek Shelter. There's supposed to be a thunderstorm tonight. It's a little concerning, so I may sleep in the shelter because um, I did not change out my tent just yet. My tent is still on its way. Um, I'm still planning to get the Durston X Med, so yeah, we'll see whenever I can get that. Uh, yeah, but we wanted to keep hiking on as much as we kind of did want to stay at the hostel. We want to be smart about our money and keep pushing and chugging forward because we're going to have rainy days. It's a part of the trail, right? So, and today it's really nice. It's good hiking weather. It's a little rainy, but it just smells good. It feels good. And we're excited to be back out here. So yeah, I'll show you how trail is looking. So this is how Troll is looking. It's a little gloomy, it's a little misty, it's a little rainy, but it smells good again, it feels good. It's not cold, it's not hot, it's just, it's chill. Everything is just so chill. It's the calm before the storm, right? And I'm sure I'll have a crazy video for you guys tomorrow, but I'm obviously gonna show you probably around camp too, so yeah. So I'm back again, so guys we did not make it to muskrat <laughs> creek shelter we are at plum orchard shelter pictured back there um we were advised by trail ambassador fred shout out to him because he's also the guy that shook me down when i first came through amicalola that since the storm is happening it's going to be pretty brutal brutal and that there's a lot of people planning to head for musk musk rat shelter that we should just stay here because the shelter here is really nice and there's three levels we're on the top one with a little window i'm gonna try to show you guys that um it's really cute it's super cute um and it has a bear box which is ah, right oh i can't point oh 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 i'm not good okay bear box <laughs> um it has water source and it has a privy so we're like set up and then it's such a cute little shelter um so i'm looking forward to that i am a little worried about the mice a little bit but i think i'm gonna be fine this time because i'm just gonna do what i did last time and make sure that like i cinch my sleeping bag down because it's a mummy bag so i can really get in there um and since it's gonna be storming i'm sure we are gonna kind of be up a little bit and I'm kind of looking forward to being able to kind of see it just because we, we have little windows. So, yeah, it's going to be a good time, hopefully. And then we're going to try to wait out the storm a little bit tomorrow because I think it's going into, like, I, I think he said, like, 9 in the morning. And from what my Zolio app was saying, it looks around, like, 11. But whatever. We're just going to wait it out, see um, how it's going. And we're going to decide whether or not we want to hike out tomorrow in the rain. Um, and try to make it to another shelter because we're really close to the border and we want to be in North Carolina soon But you know out here you just never know how the day is going to go so you just take every single day one step at a time and You you'll get there. You're gonna make it. So yeah We'll see how everything goes guys, but that is my update and that was five miles from Dick's Creek Gap <laughs> And that is how the windows look on the side and our stuff is up near there. I just want to let you guys know that if you guys ever do the 18, stay at Palm Orchard Shelter. This is literally the best sleep that I have gotten while being in a shelter, y'all. I know scary friends were messing with me. The rain was so nice. I feel very well rested and rejuvenated and I'm ready to hike out in that rain. So, yeah, just I want y'all to know that. And today is day 11.
Today we're headed to Muscat also, by the way, and it's supposed to be a 7.4 mile day. And I'm thinking we're gonna try to sleep in a shelter again, just because it's still supposed to turn to a downpour. But we are crossing the border today. Muddy, wet, and rainy, and cold. <laughs> I'm freezing. I have on all my clothes, not all, but my leggings and my socks <laughs> and my boots. And I am freezing from yesterday because they are completely rained out. It thunderstormed pretty much all night. <laughs> it was very cold, very windy. I did sleep in the shelter so I wouldn't have to set up my tent because I think I told you guys my tent does not do, it holds a lot of water. It does well in the rain, but it holds a lot of water and I didn't want to um, pack that out with me. So I did sleep in the shelter. It was like, seven of us in that one little shelter and there was a lot of people that was um tenting too and guys i <laughs> woke up and i felt i feel like i slept pretty well but i felt horrible like i just did not feel good and oh so and i think some of you can guess why <laughs> but for those of you who do not know i suffer from horrible menstruals so my menstrual cycle has started herself and yeah i'm just not feeling so hot so i'm gonna take it easy today hike very slow drink plenty of fluids um and try to eat some stuff but not very much because i don't like the feeling of i feel nauseous <laughs> and i don't like the idea of eating and throwing up so i'm gonna have like small snacks but introduce protein snacks and I'm just going to pray that tonight, even though, you know, it's going to be windy and cold, it won't rain anymore. Because <laughs> tomorrow is supposed to be very nice. So. Yeah, but it's freezing right now. I think the high today is 48, if I looked at it correctly. And then the low is like 30 something. And you can hear it's so cold because you hear it. Don't you hear those? You hear those trees, right? <laughs> so, yeah. So, um. My group is, there's a couple people still back at the shelter getting um, aired out. So I'm walking on just because my feet were freezing and I felt like they were like icicles. So I was like, maybe if I start walking cause I know I'm gonna walk slower than everybody, I'll be okay. So I'm gonna st start going a little bit. Um, we're gonna have about a 12 mile day today cause we're trying to head to Carter Gap or somewhere around there, just because it was so many people last night. We want to stealth camp a little. Um, but I don't mind sleeping in a shelter again, just because I want warmth and I don't feel like packing up my tent or taking it out. <laughs> so I don't know. I might just still go to the shelter and then hang out until they get near there and start hiking out with them again, just because I'm not feeling so hot. and. I just don't want to put up my tent, even though today is going to be really nice. So yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll show you guys what trail is looking like today. And yeah. So surprisingly, it's not looking too muddy, <laughs> but that's because I just passed a lot of the flooding muddy spots. Um, it is very cold. <laughs> As you probably can hear from the wind. Um, but yeah, it's pretty chill right now. Very pretty. I like going underneath these trees. It makes me feel like I'm walking in like a 
I don't know, Boris, you fairy tale. <laughs> yeah. Now it's hailing. Now it's just cold and windy and it's hailing. The mountains are no joke. <laughs> Ooh, it almost fell. thirsty today if I wanted to. There's so many of them.